Hello everyone, my name is Dennis and today we're going to talk about uh, Bristol Myers uh, Squibb company with ticker BMI. It is a part of uh, S&P 500, market cap uh, 128 billion dollars, uh, income 954 million dollars and sales 31 billion dollars. Book to share 22 and now we have a price of uh, 56 dollars. They pay dividends 3.2% uh, and uh, long-term debt to equity 0.8 and uh, they have really nice uh, gross margin 69 percent and it is uh, not a simple stock uh, because uh, uh, from one side they grow really nice uh, last five years from 16.5 billion dollars in revenue to 26.1 in 2019 and if we will check uh, 2019 versus 2018, we have uh, around 20% uh, of growth in revenue, and it is really cool. From the other side, they grow their debt to $47 billion, and uh, now we can see a really fast uh, share dilution 1.6 billion shares outstanding to 2.2 billions and here how a chart looks like and uh, i think we have uh, some kind of a channel here and the price now 56 and uh, i'm planning to buy it uh, somewhere here because it is growing company and uh, they have a uh, lots of interesting uh, thing in their pipeline and i wouldn't uh, talk about it uh, i will just scroll down and you can see that it is unbelievably uh, lots of uh, pharmaceuticals and uh, they have lots on a phase 3 50 plus uh, compounds in development uh, 40 plus uh, diseases areas being studied and here we can see uh, uh, assets and liabilities from 10q report uh, total current asset uh, 31.8 uh, billion dollars and uh, total current liabilities 19.2 it is quite safe uh, and the total equity around 50 billion dollars and i think we have uh, not really accurate uh, information in institutional ownership uh, here written that uh, it is more than 100 percent 104 percent in institutional shares institutional ownership uh, on the market bit uh, only 74 percent and we can see really nice uh, loud for 10 billion dollars in uh, q1 2020. Significant pipeline progress to broaden our portfolio of innovative medicines. Uh, 3K approvals, uh, Ziposia, Riblazur, Opdiva. Four feelings, uh, one submission, uh, two positive top line reads out. Strong operational results, uh, sales of uh, $10.8 billion in Q1. And we can see a strong performance uh, in key franchises. And uh, we can see 14% uh, per year last year, 37%, 2% uh, drop down, 12%, 29%, 14 35 and uh, I think it is strong. 90% grow excluding uh, the impact of uh, global situation. Here we can see uh, total cash uh, $19 billion, uh, total debt $47 billion and net debt position 28 billion committed to reducing debt uh, lower than 1.5x debt to EBITDA by end of 2023 guidance uh, didn't uh, change and it is uh, really nice and here you can see uh, impact of global situation and the uh, thinking that uh, in Q4 there will be minimal impact we have a really great company with uh, uh, strong performance uh, last five years uh, um, but really uh, big debt and i think i will buy it if uh, this stock will go down a little bit more and uh, we can compare it to s p 500 for five years i think it's better to hold s p 500 for one year it is uh, not the same and for the whole situation whole view it is uh, definitely better to hold spy what do you think about bristol myers uh, uh, what is your plan for the stock i hope this video was uh, not so bad 
Uh, don't forget to push the like button and subscribe button. Uh, see you later. Bye-bye.